Brooks, though, is a, a very fast athlete. I was a little surprised at first to see him on the top of the leaderboard, and then once he was more consistent, I definitely learned his name and knew it was no surprise. And look how fast he's going quickly through. One of, one of our larger young athletes, I'll give him that. He's very tall. And executing that immediate grab up to the banana, which I like to see, shows you that they're thinking about efficiency here. Great move there on Ring Tech, looking for the dismount, he's got it. The, if you thought stage one was technical, this stage two is so incredibly technical. I've been so impressed that so many of our athletes have gotten that skyhook move. And Brooks and then, makes the first special delivery move. And looks like he's going for the skip. I like it. Smart. Thank you, and I think that's sir. what I think that's what you're going to see most athletes do now. Big swing up to that shelfie. You can see he's got a lot of power and a lot of strength as well because he's able to control himself on that descent easily through. He's ahead of Matthew Hall's fastest pace to this point. He'll take an extra swing on French toe sticks. It is going to come. says Michael Jackson of <laughs> Michael Johnson. Oh boy, <laughs> embarrassing. Oh, and if Michael man. Johnson says that's fine, Michael Jackson says it's fine, maybe not. If Michael Johnson says it's fine, definitely fine. And ooh, second guessing the dismount on momentum shift and now starting to is. lose his place, but he makes the shift. Brooks Bieber, our fourth athlete through stage two. And with a time of 1.22, he will move into the top spot, edging out Matthew Hall. Now, the placement that you get on stage two is important and a little bit more important than I would venture to say stage one because if you are on stage three, it is a tricky course. You are going to know exactly how much rest you can take and how fast you need to go through the obstacles in order to clinch the top spot. <laughs> 